believe this is the first time that I am going to show myself in a video so my name is B1 uh, to be honest I am not sure <coughs> what uh, what am I going to do with the with the channel the YouTube channel that I have so that's why you guys notice that I upload videos with uh, the, the gap is too long before I upload anything because I, I'm not really sure what to upload sometimes I upload uh, trail video sometimes I upload uh, sometimes I share videos of Kilian so by the way uh, me and my wife actually my whole family is uh, family of trail runners we are mountain runners we are we are runners go uh, for the first time in my life I'm going to to move out of the comfort zone and show myself on a video hopefully <clears throat> malaman ko kung ano yung gusto kong gawin sa YouTube channel by doing this so I am thinking about reviewing a lot of stuff uh, years ago when I when I created the channel I was actually planning to review some of the gear, gears that I am using that we are using that's my wife uh, quick info we are here training or just um, uh, running we're doing a maintenance run here at Mount Mount Arayat in Oriental Mindoro so me and my wife we are co-founders of a group called Raging Tamarau's Adventure Team we we organize uh, physical races virtual races here right after the pandemic we may baka hi hi friend So, so again say hello yeah so say hello to the cow uh, yeah so so we organize uh, we organize events uh particularly trail running events to uh, to push the people out of their houses and go back to being, being active so that's the plan so on uh, yeah uh, 2019 I was planning on reviewing gear 3 years ago I was originally planning on reviewing gears because my feet are actually problema uh, problematic. Initially, a doctor diagnosed plantar fasciitis. Fa plantar fasciitis. A doctor in Alabang, I'm not sure. Alabang ata. A sport doctor in Alabang. Uh, that happened right after the um, right after the event that I joined the event was called Itogonia Wild Country 20 miler race 
So Ayun. Ano nga yung sasabihin ko? I was diagnosed with uh, plantar fasciitis but the second doctor said uh, I have an Achilles tendinitis which is which I think is pretty accurate because uh, masakit yung sakong every after ng run every after a 10k or 20k run just a maintenance run every after training it hurts like hell and then pagkagising ko sa umaga hindi ako makalakad so ayun yan so we found out about Decathlon they have this particular brand of shoe called Kalenji so they claim that the uh, Kalenji is compatible with uh, the, the Kalenji platform or the Kalenji shoes is actually compatible to all types of feet so we went there back in 2018 we went to Decathlon and tried one so uh, thankfully Decathlon is generous enough to let the customers test the, the test their product. So we managed I managed to a, a, a test test drive their uh, the, uh, shoe model called Kalenji XT7 and it, it actually turned out to be a perfect match for my feet. So after running I didn't even I didn't even felt any pain at all. So it's like the position of the shoes is like correcting the shoes is correcting itself. The 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 shoes is like correcting the position of my feet every time every impact sa trail. Yeah, so Yon. So we are currently approaching the road section so I'm going to turn off my camera for now. I'm going to turn off my camera for now kasi masyadong matao dito. Okay. See you in a bit. again uh, before anything else I would like to invite everyone to like and subscribe I would like to invite everyone to like and subscribe I, I am not really sure right now what to do with the channel but this is my very first uh, informative content for now so nasa na nga ba tayo kanina time check 8.37am so mainit na po ayan iinit na we are here uh, Mount Arayat we are approaching the VK VK the vertical kilometer this is one of the this is one of the main attractions of the race we organized that happened last March 27 <sighs> so we are approaching the vertical kilometer actually uh, we're a few hundred meters away from the vertical kilometer so as you can see we still have the markings we did not uh, 
we did not remove the marking the real markings because um, this is also being used by the locals and some of the new trail runners here in our place want want to use this course for their training so it's not actually a pollution <laughs> it's being used it's actually being used like this so so that no one will get lost so this uh, uh, this is technically a new trail we partially created this route uh, para din may daanan yung mga locals pataas na mas malapit from uh, the barangay called Bulusan pataas ng bundok so yeah this is like as you can see this is like a mossy <laughs> alright this is like a mossy mossy forest mossy jungle <clears throat> so yeah that uh, part of my plan is actually uh, uploading videos once or twice a week I will upload videos as much as I can I will give as much information as I can I will give out as much information as I can. I will show our place to everyone. Uh, hopefully, this is, uh, <laughs> this is something that is going to be something interesting for everyone. See, uh, one of the main goals why we why we created the group called Raging Tamaraos Adventure Team because we wanted to introduce our place to everyone. We wanted to uh, we wanted to bring the sport. We wanted trail running to reach this place. So we are organizing races here. We wanted everyone to appreciate the beauty of this island. Our island is called Oriental Min oh, our island is called the island of Mindoro. So some of the famous attractions here in Mindoro are number one is Puerto Galera, which is which we are planning to use as a venue for the leg two of our event. So Puerto Galera Trail Ultra. Yeah, so watch out for that one. Okay, so we are here at the foot of the vertical kilometer. Let me show you. Tada! Okay, so number one is Puerto Galera. Number two is Mount Halcon. If you are a trail runner, a mountaineer, an outdoor enthusiast here in the Philippines, I am like 90% sure that being on top of Mount Halcon is one of your, <laughs> is at least in your bucket list. Yeah. So we are right now climbing the virtual uh, virtual. We are uh, ascending the vertical kilometer, which is the hardest part of the race last March. <laughs> That's on the more. Ah. 
saya Okay, as you notice, I I stopped talking for a moment there <laughs> because the, this section is pretty steep, and I hope you guys, those who who participated in the race, partic particularly in the 21k and the 12k, I hope you enjoyed this VK a lot. <laughs> Okay, so we, we are here at the halfway point of the BK. Let me show you what it's like. So, we are halfway and that's the view. And we are Kita. We are going there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 